What's going on, guys? How you doing? All right. This is the a show of hands, overview, preview, review, all of it. If you're new here, please subscribe. Check out my videos, all kinds of videos, reaction videos, bass videos, music videos. Check it out. If you like the channel, if you want to support the channel, all kinds of ways, you can hit super thanks underneath this video. You can hit me direct in the description. I got PayPal, Venmo, Amazon wish list, mailing address. Thank you. Okay. I mean, this one was pretty, you know, it's like at this point, the live albums are just, uh, you know, the music, the live albums are fun. This one I thought was really great. I thought that the quality, like the, in the past, the quality of like the live records has been kind of like, you know, you got all the world's a stage and exit stage left. Right. And the quality for like at least all the world's a stage is kind of is rough. Right. It's pretty rough. But this was, I thought, excellent. I thought that the quality of the video and the audio was great. So, I mean, it was enjoyable. You know, the whole entire thing was enjoyable. It was all cool. You know. It, it was more just a matter of like, okay, yeah, like, yeah, I like these songs or I like this song. I, I'm not crazy about this song, you know, but everything. It, it, this band is incredibly consistent with their quality in terms of performance quality. You know, like they're always going to, they're always playing well. So, you know, and everything sounds great. So <laughs> there's really nothing nothing to say it was great it was cool i liked hearing and seeing the 80s stuff live even even throwing in like the old i mean it's still 80s but like some of the older stuff like spirit of radio tom sawyer 2112 la villa all, all that stuff even throwing in those like at the end it's like okay you guys have to do that because it's a concert, you're rush. You're gonna be playing Tom Sawyer at, at, live at a concert, pretty much every concert until you're done. Like, that's just how it is. That's your hit, right? So, I get it, it's cool, I still like it. But, you know, I can, That that's just me though. I'm like, uh, I, don't, I can, I don't know. I could do without it. I don't, I don't need it, you know? I liked I liked uh, I liked all the other stuff. I liked, you know, Marathon, The Big Money, Red Sector. I liked seeing stuff from uh, Grace Under Pressure and Power Windows. I liked seeing the stuff from uh, Hold Your Fire also, but you know, those songs I'm not as crazy about. I'm just I'm just not. Some of them I'm fine with, but others like Prime Mover, I'm just like, no, no. <laughs> No, this song is not for me. It's not for me. There, it has fans, but this is this is when I go to the bathroom or whatever. Whatever. This is when I go, like you know, whatever. So this is when I take a break. So, but I thought all of it was really cool. I can't wait to get rid of the wall base. I mean, you ha you saw Alex. Oh, also, I think Alex stole the freaking show. Alex, I thought was he just killed the whole the whole thing. He killed the whole thing. Not that Getty and Neil didn't do great, because they did. But for whatever reason, to me, for me, like, Alex was great on the, at this concert. Just great. Just great. I'm filming this before we even start doing a show of hands. So you haven't seen any of the show of hands yet. So I'm being a little preemptive. I know that there's going to be discussion on tracks, playing with tracks, just hitting, triggering, just like... Triggering a track. I mean, there's no other way for me to say it, like, what it is. To me, that's why I'm like, I don't get it. I know that I've brought it up in the past in other live videos. I know I have. Probably before I started doing the discography. Probably. But I brought it back again. And uh, I'm sure... I don't know what the comments are yet because uh, I'm doing this in the future. <laughs> but I'm sure. I'm sure that I, I you know that people aren't going to like, or I'm, I'm sure I've ruffled some feathers or whatever. I'm sure I'm going to get some uh, defensiveness <laughs> or whatever, you know, maybe, maybe it'll be cool and people explain or whatever, but I'm just like, and it has nothing to do with like, I don't, I don't care. You know, it's like the music is so great. I don't, I don't care. I'm just like, okay, let's be real here. They're, 
just hitting triggers, right? They're triggering like some track to play right now, play now, right? And then it happens because nobody's playing it. I mean, there were plenty of examples of that. I, Amy Mann was on the track, but she wasn't at the concert. What's that about? You know, like you're hearing Amy Mann, but you're not seeing Amy Mann. She's not physically at the concert. That's a track in today's world, right? That's a track. You're playing the tracks. So Rush was playing the tracks in the 80s. <laughs> um, and that's fine. Whatever. That's cool. Yeah, I just brought it up because I'm just like, how do you not? How? How? Like, I don't I don't get it. And like, and I understand that, like, there are other times where it's not just like triggering. They are actually doing like the Taurus pedals or get used to actually playing. Right. I get it. Right. It's not all just tracks or, or Neil triggers something, you know, but I don't know. It's inter It's like an interesting aspect of Rush that people I don't see people talking about. Maybe that's because I haven't dug into that, but I don't know. I just think it's really interesting how this four piece band is a three piece, <laughs> you know, like that's how that's how it, that's what it seems like. That's what it seems like. So, you know, anyways, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I uh, upset some people. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I really liked Red Sector A and Distant Early Warning and uh, Subdivisions and Witch Hunt, all that stuff. Manhattan Project, Marathon, the Big Money. It's great, you know, and Closer to the Heart. That was fan. I mean, I love that song. That's a great one. That's a great. I need to go. It's been a minute since I've heard Farewell, a Farewell to Kings. I got to listen to that one. That was like one of the first ones where I was like, oh, yeah, this. this oh, yeah, this band. Mm hmm. They're going places. <laughs> Just kidding. I, I thought that ahead of time, but yeah. Yeah, I, I like that one. It's been a minute since I've listened to that record. Usually, like, usually when I put on their records, I'm putting on either Permanent Waves or Signals or, uh, like, anything more recent that I've heard that I've checked out, like Grace Under Pressure or even Power Windows. You know, just so you guys know. I'm sure you're wondering if I listen to any of it and the answer is yes but normally it's those albums signals permanent waves like i haven't put hemispheres back on since the videos like maybe once i did uh i definitely have not put on the first album i probably won't ever put on the first album ever again i'll probably just only listen to working men which is still one of my favorite songs of theirs like tracks of theirs like hands down hands down just like that what a what a smash total smash so anyways okay what's coming up next is presto presto 1989 so apparently this is um we're getting better now like hold your fire was and it's interesting that article that i read which i don't know if you guys liked that i feel like those videos maybe a dud maybe didn't work i don't i don't know that they worked that's kind of i don't know I don't know. Afterwards, after I edited them, I was like, probably never do this again. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what the reception is. You know, you got to, I have to try things, you know, whatever. And also I didn't have internet at that time. So I was like, what am I going to do? I can't just watch it. I can't, I can't do what I would normally do. So maybe I'll just do this and, and just pass the time or whatever. I don't know. You know, like it was weird. So anyways, in that, in the article, they were saying that it was after hold your fire tour that they almost were thinking of that they were thinking of splitting. And I'm like, yeah. Cause like the music just, I don't know. It, it, it felt that way. It feels that way. It doesn't feel like, I don't know. They just put out their weakest record. Like hold your fire is a weak record. Like compared to everything else that they've done. It's in, it's incredibly weak. It's, it's right up there with their first record. It's not as weak as their first record. Their first record's pretty weak. It only has working men. <laughs> and at least at least um at least uh, Hold Your Fire had a few other songs than just one, right? They had Time Stand Still, they had Force Ten, they had Open Secrets, they had Turn the Page. So, you know, anyways, I forget what I, I was saying. 
Oh yeah, Presto. We're doing Presto next. I don't know any of the songs on this record. I think that I... Is this the record where there's a rapper that's Roll the Bones? That might be Roll the Bones, because Roll the Bones is 91, right? That makes a little bit more sense to me. I doubt they were dabbling with that yet. 91, that makes sense, because like hip-hop, early early hip I mean it was happening in 89 too but it wasn't becoming more of a thing at least more mainstream I don't know for some reason I can believe 91 more than 89 with that so I imagine that's in uh on the next album but this one the pass that's one of Getty's favorite songs is that is that accurate I remember him saying that in their interview also the pass and he mentioned the garden I mean we'll see hopefully there's some cool stuff on this record I know that there are people that are into it, so should be cool. Should be interesting. I mean, could it be worse than Hold Your Fire? Who's producing it? They have a new producer, Robert Hine. So this will be different. I'm I'm interested in checking this out. I mean, I'm going to, but uh, it should be cool. We'll see what happens. So yeah, so that's that. Uh, I'm probably going to do, you know, a couple of videos and then we're just going to jump into, we're going to jump into it and see how it goes. Uh, see what I think, all that kind of thing. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to everybody that hits me with PayPal, hits me with Venmo, hits me with super thanks, that sends things to my mailbox. Thank you guys. You guys are so freaking awesome. Fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Really, really, thank you. Absolutely amazing. I'll catch you guys in the next video.